Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Jenkins on your Ubuntu or Debian based operating system. So in order to install Jenkins, you need to have Java installed on your system. But we will look into the documentation which version of Java is required to install Jenkins from the Jenkins website. So first of all, just open your favorite browser and search for Jenkins. And the first link which will appear here will be from Jenkins.io. So I'm going to click on this link. And once this website is open, there is a documentation given to install a Jenkins on a Linux or Debian based operating system. And this documentation you can find in the documentation section. So I'm going to click on the documentation section and then just click on use Jenkins. Now, when I scroll down a little under user handbook section, I can see uh, this uh, section which says installing Jenkins. So I'm going to click on this uh, link and then you will see uh, this section which is installing Jenkins. I'm going to put this link in the description so you can directly click on this link and come to this page. Now let's see the prerequisite of installing Jenkins. So here these are some of the system requirements and then you can see software requirement and here you can see Java 8 either a Java runtime environment or Java development kit is fine right. So first of all we are going to uh, install Java 8 and then we are going to install the Jenkins on our Ubuntu operating system. Now, when I scroll down a little, you will see uh, the installation process for different operating systems. For example, Mac OS or Windows operating system. And when you scroll a little bit more, you will see the section for Linux Debian forward slash Ubuntu. And these are the steps you need to follow in order to install Jenkins. So we will execute these steps after we install uh, the Java version. So I'm going to just minimize this browser and I'm going to open uh, the terminal. Just press Control Alt T in order to open the terminal or you can open the terminal from here also. So once the terminal is open to install Java 8, I'm going to use the PPA and uh, these command also I'm going to give you in the description. So the first command is this sudo add minus apt minus repository PPA colon web up 8 team for slash java and then press enter and then give your ubuntu's password and then press enter and once again press enter and once this command is finished i'm going to paste the second command in order to install java 8 so this is the second command which is sudo apt install oracle hyphen java 8 minus installer press enter in order to install java 8 so now we can see this message here which says Oracle JDK 8 is installed on my system and then there is an important message here and this message says to set Oracle Java JDK 8 as default we need to install Oracle minus Java 8 minus set minus default. So we are going to run this command which is given in the example which is this one so I'm going to just copy this command in order to set Java 8 as the default Java version. So just copy this command which is sudo apt install oracle minus Java 8 minus set minus default and paste onto your terminal and then press enter and then press Y and once this command is finished we are going to check the Java version so I'm going to just write Java hyphen hyphen uh, version and then press enter and this command gives us uh, some problem I can see could not create Java virtual machine so instead of giving double hyphen I think the command is Java hyphen version and you can see this version Java version 1.8.0 point something so if you see uh, this uh, version here that Java 8 is installed on your system so let's clear the terminal so I'm going to clear the terminal so now let's uh, start with the installation of uh, Jenkins. So when you go to this page and you will see these commands, somehow these commands did not work for me. 
so i found on internet some commands which worked for me so the first command is this one so i'm not going to follow and copy and paste these commands because these they did not work for me i'm going to copy uh, these command and these commands i'm going to give you in the description also so we are going to give the first command and then press enter and then give your ubuntu's password and then the second command which is this one just copy and paste and then press enter and now the third command which is to update and now the fourth command which is to actually install jenkins which is sudo apt get install jenkins and then press y and you can see this command is also finished so in order to check whether jenkins is really installed or not you can open your uh, browser and here jenkins uh, generally starts on localhost port 8080 so i'm going to just write local host colon 8080 and then press enter and you will be able to see this kind of page which says unlock jenkins so here we are going to provide the initial password which is saved at this location so we are going to go to this location but first of all i want to show you some more command in order to uh, just manage jenkins on ubuntu so because jenkins is installed as a service on your ubuntu operating system you can always use uh, system ctl status for example if you want to uh, check the status jenkins okay so with this system ctl command you can start jenkins or stop jenkins or see the status of jenkins or restart jenkins also so when i give this command sudo system ctl status jenkins and then press enter it's going to give me the status of jenkins and right now it's active and um, uh, running and for example i want to restart or start my jenkins once again instead of status i can just write uh, start if i want to restart it i can just uh, write here restart and it's going to be restarted so all these commands are for future references if you want to restart or stop in order to stop you can just write stop here so just write stop and jenkins will be stopped so these commands are for the future reference whenever you want to just manage your jenkins or stop or restart jenkins now let's finish the installation process so you can see on this page it says unlock jenkins and you will see uh, this path here and on this path the initial admin password is saved so i'm going to just copy this path whole path and then go to the terminal once again and then i'm going to let's let me clear the terminal first of all and here i'm going to just write cat and then just paste this part which i have copied from here which is this one and in this file your initial password is there and cat is used to just uh, output the content of the file so i'm going to just uh, do this and it says permission denied so i will do this uh, with the sudo in front of it so i'm going to just write sudo and then press enter and you can see uh, this password here so you can just directly copy this pa password right click copy or what you can do is you can also use the g edit command so instead of cat you can just write g edit this is the graphical uh, editor and here you will uh, find the same password and then you can just copy and then you just need to paste this password here so once you have pasted your initial password i'm going to just click continue and i don't want to save anything and in here i can see two options uh, for customizing jenkins one is install suggested plugins and other is select plugins to install so i'm going to choose uh, the first option which says install suggested plugins so i'm going to click on this option which is going to start installing the suggested plugins here so you can see uh, different kind of plugins uh, will be installed for uh, git for example subversion or ldap or uh, gradle and uh, other plugins 
Now keep in mind I don't have a Git or a Subversion or LDAP yet installed on my Ubuntu operating system. So it's okay if you don't have these installed previously. So we will just install the plugins and whenever we want some uh, software for example uh, Git or Subversion or LDAP or anything we will install it later. So I'm going to wait for uh, this uh, plugin installation to complete. So now the installation of all the plugins are complete and uh, this page is redirected to uh, this window where it says create first admin user. So we are going to create our first admin user. So you can provide any name. I'm going to just uh, provide username admin here. You can provide any name and then uh, give uh, some uh, password which you can remember and which is strong. So I'm going to give uh, some uh, password here and I'm going to repeat my password and now I'm going to uh, give the name for example admin once again and now I'm going to give the email uh, ID email address and then I'm going to just uh, press this button which says uh, save and continue and you can see this message which says instance configuration Jenkins URL which is this one which is uh, localhost 8080 which is okay for us for now so just leave it as default and then press save and finish and you will be able to see this uh, message which says Jenkins is ready your Jenkins setup is complete start using Jenkins so we are going to just uh, press this button which says start using Jenkins and now if you see this kind of interface you know that Jenkins is working fine on your system. So this is how you can uh, install a Jenkins on your Ubuntu operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.